Thank you for stopping by and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the micro warp drive and cloaking trick. And with this little trick you should be able to navigate around low set with no problems. And with the fall of Najjar this will probably come in handier than ever. If you like this type of video then please think about subscribing to the channel and checking out some of my previous videos. Now this generally is best for low sec and not null sec. Uh, the fact that null sec has bubbles where low sec can't have bubbles. So I'm going to do a theory or a practice run uh, showing you how this works and then I'm going to show you it actually in action me running through a gate camp. Now this works when you jump into a system you click on the gate that you want to walk to, you align to that gate, you click your cloaking device and then immediately after you click your micro warp drive. That will speed up your ship, turn off your micro warp drive and now basically we're waiting for the cycle of the micro warp drive. Now I'll slow this clip down slightly. So as the micro warp drive finishes its cycle you drop your cloak and you spam warp and as you can see you are immediately into warp. This will make you incredibly hard to catch, as I said, in low sec due to the fact that people can't lock you in time in order to get a scram or disruptor on you. So the problem I'm having here is I'm in a high sec system with a low sec pocket and then onto a high sec afterwards. So I'm just taking the noob ship through just to show you that the gate is camped and that they will literally shoot anything as I get in there. Now the number one rule that you want to do when jumping into a system regardless whether you are expecting it or not is do not panic. Sit and wait. Take a look at the surroundings. As you say you've got a minute before your ship decloaks so don't click, don't double click, don't move. Take stock of what is around you. As you can see here we've got the three Genosis and we've got the X checkers which are more than likely repping and or sensor boosting the Genosis. So I have a quick look at the ships, have a look at where I intend to be going, make sure there's nothing particularly close to me before. and I'm not expecting this ship to make it. This is basically just to show that these guys are happy to shoot. And there we go. So initiate warp. I'm disrupted. Can't warp now. I'm webbed. Now at this point I'm thinking they're just going to be holding me just to uh, mess around so I get ready to eject but I actually get destroyed uh, make sure you click on a object ASAP and then warp to get the pod out. In low sec you should very very rarely ever lose your pod unless it's heavy um, heavy lag. And there we go we're out. So this is a few minutes later as you can see now I'm in an Ishtar. Um, bit of a travel setup as you can see I've got the cloak and the MWD on here. I jump to get into the system. Clickety clickety click and there we go. So jumping in same guy still sat on the gate waiting. As you can see the three Genosis and the three X checkers. So same principle, click on where I want to be going, make sure there's nothing around me. These guys have already dropped their drones so no doubt they had eyes on the other side and are rubbing their hands together and Ishtar has just jumped in. So I choose a line, cloak, MWD, MWD off now we're waiting for the cycle. This is at full speed. Drop the cloak. Warp. And there we go. We're off. Now this can be done with all manner of ships from smaller ships to larger ships, battleships and below. So what I'd recommend is obviously fit the ship up in high sec and just practice on the gates. Practice in high sec from jumping through a gate Again, doing the micro warp drive trick with cloak to make sure you can do it to make sure that the ship, when you drop the cloak, etc., has enough speed that you can warp instantly without it having to speed back up. And just practice it a few times or several times, or every time you jump a gate, just get the hang of doing it and the way that it works because you don't want to be accidentally clicking the micro warp drive before the cloak. Because by clicking the micro warp drive first, your signature radius booms 
or blooms and basically you are then easier to lock. You also don't want to be F1 mashing the key for instance for the cloak because once you cloak you can decloak instantly once it's started and then you've got another 10 seconds before you are able to cloak you won't be up to speed and more than likely you are going to get caught before you're able to warp off so just getting the hang of it and working out how to do it is definitely recommended before actually doing it now that's not to say that it is impossible to catch you and that on rare occasions if you mess up or the server ticks are just out of your favor then it is possible to catch you but again it's very very rare or seldom that this should happen assuming that you have done the steps correctly and so that was how to do the uh, MWD micro warp drive trick so if you made it this far then please drop a like on this video think about subscribing um, again, I have a back catalogue now of some economic videos, etc. There will be more to come, um, general gameplay tips, etc. Um, for future videos. And so thank you for your time and fly safe.